Hi there, I'd like to show you the gameplay loop of this asteroid game that I've been working on. In this first mode that we'll jump right into, you have a little drone ship, and that drone ship is equipped with a tractor beam type of deal, and you can use that to sling rocks over towards the receiver, the harvester, the refinery, We're still working on the name for that. And at first you can only take small rocks uh, with your tractor beam, but the receiver can accept any scale rock, so you can get lucky or you can knock bigger rocks in there. And as you go along with each bit of mass that you harvest, the reactor or the refinery, the receiver heats up a little bit more, gains a little more energy, and you can therefore harvest larger rocks as you go along. Now, now this mode is limited by, you can see a timer at the top, let's say we're in an asteroid field and we found a relatively calm part of it, but we can tell on our sensors that there's a, a big, you know, a big mass of rocks coming and it's going to be really dangerous and we need to get out of there in about 35 seconds from now. You also are limited on fuel and energy, which the tractor beam uses. We're still working out how all these resources come together, but I think time and fuel are probably the main uh, kind of forcing functions that move you through this this uh, mode of playing. This mode of play probably takes about 90 seconds, something like that, two minutes. And during that time, you try to get as much mass as you can while avoiding the rocks. You don't have much in the way of hit points. It's very easy to destroy your drone. And then at the end, you, you want to get on out of there before the storm comes. And then you're rewarded with the mass you harvested. You got to spend some supplies to refuel your drone. You can see you got 400 tons of mass there. Now we're on to the second mode. This is a mode where imagine you're, you know, the mothership finds a derelict that's nearby that has some important resources that you need. You can jet out there and you can use your tractor beam to sling them towards the, the receiver target. In this mode, it lets you know when you're on trajectory towards the target. So you can just let that fuel cell float and it'll go on towards the receiver and make it there. You can go back and grab another target. This mode has a much shorter time span than the other mode. I think you only get 50 seconds to start with. So you're really kind of racing against the clock, but also you have to prioritize what resources you want. You're probably not gonna be able to get everything. Uh, and then, so I'm gonna go back and try to get this ammo crate here. The ammo is used for the next mode you'll, you're about to see that completes the game loop. Uh-oh, that's kind of a scary sounding klaxon. I wonder what happens out here after the danger arrives. Let's find out. Oh, I see my the repair thing is flying off. That blue line is moving. Something must have hit hit it. Uh oh, let's get on out of here. Chaos. Chaos ensued. But we made it back to the dock in the mothership. All right, very cool. So now you got a bunch of resources that you've got there, and you you see you can't do any more of the first two modes. From here, instead, you have to find a new zone to harvest. So we're moving the mothership, and that means flying through an, a, a, an asteroid field. You've got a shield to protect you there. That's the green bar. That'll help destroy any rocks that get into there. But anything that makes it through the shield is going to damage the mothership. And any damage to the mothership is going to have to be repaired either by the repair kits that you got in the salvage mode or just straight up from the mass that you harvested from the rocks. I'm still working out some of these mechanics, but consider that the ship has something to like break down the rocks into materials that you need to repair your ship. That's basically the concept there. So that's one time through the loop. You go back around and now we're, we're out and harvesting more another asteroid field. You found another place to harvest. So you've gone out and, and again, you have to start with just a small, just the small rocks. And, you know, this mass that you're harvesting is not just to repair the ship. Uh, it can also be to generate, for example, you know, new supplies. If you destroy your work drone, the drone ship you're flying, you can create a new one. You can create a fuel cell, which which is needed to power up the mothership engines. Um, still working out that. There will, there will be an upgrade tree and a difficulty progression as you go along. Oh, you heard the, the buzzer there. If you miss the receiver and it land in the, or the rocks land in the red zone, instead of receiving the mass, you destroy the mass. Imagine if there's sort of a shield there and you can use energy to destroy that, but it's, that's not good. That's basically the opposite of what you want to do. And there, so there will be an upgrade train, upgrade chain as you go along, uh, where you could upgrade things like, you know, maybe you could keep the 
the refinery from cooling down so much or make the tractor beam more effective so that you start with larger rocks or, uh, you know, you can put more guns on the front of the mothership. You can increase the shield strength. Maybe you're, uh, maybe there's like an efficiency level from each bit of mass that you recover that uh, will make the refinery more efficient. Uh, there's all kinds of ideas. I just haven't got to that part of the development yet. So we're nearing the end of, of, of the second round of, of harvesting. We got a bunch more mass harvested. We got to spend some of that supply to repair the drone. And now you go out and get some more derelicts. And all along, the, what, what's happening here is, is, is in the mothership mode, you're going to be consuming resources to, to move from place to place in the form of fuel cells, in the form of ammunition, in the form of repair kits as you get damaged. And so your goal in the other two modes is to get enough resources to keep the mothership going. And we're still building the, the, the larger, uh, you know, just like structure and flow of the game, but that's how it comes together so far. And there is a little bit of a difficulty ramp in terms of it scales up the distance you have to travel from place to place. And right now we're just getting all the pieces in place here in, in making it something that you can play at all. And then, you know, we're, gonna, we're just going to keep on tweaking, keep on tweaking the design, keep on trying to find the fun, iterating, uh, and, and just trying to make it better. Um, I have ideas for another mode, and I think when you go along that you might not, you might have not get to do both of the modes before you move the mothership. You might only get to do one, or you might not get to choose which modes you want to do. Uh, we'll see. I, I put the game faster than light as a big inspiration and, and something that I'm thinking about in terms of like, what, what made that game cool? What makes that me keep coming back to that game? And, uh, yeah, it's been a little while since an update and I've done a whole heap of work. So I wanted to share this video with you. I hope you like it. Stay tuned. I'm gonna keep on developing this concept.